What's happening? Crypto Farm. Happy, happy Monday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. This morning, we're talking about inflation and Argentinians. Argentinians are wising up. Yeah. And many more people will follow suit, I would imagine. So... Argentines are taking refuge in stable coins after economic minister resignation. So major crypto exchanges reported that consumers purchased up to three times as many stable coins over the weekend as they usually do amid brewing economic crisis. Following the resignation Saturday of Argentina's economic minister Martin Guzman, Amid an economic crisis, Argentines purchase between two and three times as many stable coins as they do on a typical weekend. Crypto countries in the con uh, in the, la, 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 la. crypto companies in the country have told CoinDesk. Three major crypto exchanges said that consumers were looking to hedge against potential evaluation or devaluation of the Argentine peso whose buying power has plummeted over the past year as inflation skyrockets. Following Guzman's resignation, the peso depreciated around 15% against stable coins, DAI and Tether on several leading local exchanges. Platforms, both stable coins rose from ARS245 on Friday to ARS280 over the weekend. Following the appointment of Silvino Batakis to replace Guzman as the new Minister of Economic <laughs> of, of Economy late Saturday. So they basically put this person in. Are you shitting me? Tether quotations on the exchanges rose to 303 ARS per coin. So, I mean, for, for, for one, I mean, for an Argentine on, let's say, Friday afternoon, who's getting 245, or who's spending 245 Argentinian pesos, on a tether, yeah, by this morning, can sell them all at 303 per tether. Do you know what I mean? That, I mean, shit the fucking bed, man. It's like, it's, it's 58. It's like 50. Imagine putting 240 odd dollars into a stable coin on Friday and was making $58 over the weekend simply because you fucking left it there and inflation went the other way. <laughs> like, to, to someone who's struggling and to an economy whose currency is struggling against the bigger currencies, this is a no fucking brainer. For anyone who's losing purchasing power on their so-called currencies against internet, uh, the, the national currencies, it's a no fucking brainer. So, whenever there's one of these news stories in Argentina, because of the 24-7 nature of crypto, is the first market where Argentina starts to look for a price for the US dollar. This drives volumes up. And Sebastian Serrano, CEO of Argentinian-based crypto exchange, told Coindesk, Guzman's resignation is part of the latest fallout from a fight between Argentine President Alberto Fernandez and the Vice President Cristina Fernandez de Crecha <laughs> over the economic direction of the country, which saw inflation in May spike 60% year over year. In addition, Argentina's central bank is running out of foreign currency reserves, which is hindering imports, among other consequences. Argentine exchange at Buenbit 
recorded a 300% increase in trading on Sunday compared to the same day in previous weeks. The company told Coindesk, I know that many people use their DAI as collateral to obtain loans in Argentine pesos and purchase more DAI as protection against potential pesos devaluation. Various local media reports did not rule out the possibility that the government might announce a foreign exchange holiday on Monday to calm markets. <laughs> Stop letting them fucking exchange. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> People wising up to the bullshit the banks have been getting away with for fucking decades, if not centuries. People are wising up to your bullshit, to your inflation. So sort your currencies out. Or we won't fucking use them anymore. How would you like them apples? Eh? Eh? Wind your fucking neck in and create a fair system. Or you're fucking done. You're fucking done. I know I understand I'll probably be dead before the banking system is truly done. But wait the fuck up. They are done. They're fucking done. If they need to change, they need to innovate. Put some progressive technologies, more transparent, fairer. Oh, they're fucking done. <sighs> Due to the lack of price references for the US dollar over the weekend, most Argentine exchanges increased the spreads between bid and ask price to 18%, when in general they are around 2%. Pablo Sabatella, founder of the crypto education platform DeFi Education, which focuses on Latin America, tweeted on Sunday that exchanges added a giant spread so people don't trade. And they, the exchanges, hedge against tomorrow's opening price. Due to demand, without a reference replacement price, prices rose and spreads widened. Guzman's resignation. The demand for crypto dollars was strong. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, they're going to wise up. They're going to wise up. The more that the banks push this fucking inflation bullshit on us, more people will just wise up and say, listen, I don't want your fucking currency. Fuck off. Say, oh, what backs the dollar? Military. No. Bullshit backs the dollar. And idiots thinking it's the be-all and end-all of fucking currencies. You spoke in the past. All the global reserve currencies and the main global currencies, they've all changed over time. All changed over time from, from Dutch currencies to Italian currencies to Asian currencies. The UK, GBP, the USD, whatever comes next. X, whatever. Yeah, it's it's high time people wised up, and I feel they are. When you've got countries like Argentina, no doubt the Venezuelans will, will, will be wanting to do this kind of shit as well. Because when you see your local currency dipping like fuck in purchasing power next to a dollar. One minute it costs 10 of your dollars to buy an, a US dollar. Next one minute, then, it, then it's $20 to buy a US dollar. Then it's 30 of yours to buy a US dollar. Then it's 40. You're like, what the fuck? Just go in Tether that pe that's pegged to the US fucking dollar. And that's protected. Yet you, we can argue the risk of stable coins all fucking day. But there's a risk in fiat as well. There's a risk in fear, otherwise this shit won't be fucking happening. The bankers need to wind the fucking necks in. They just really, really do. Um, oh, they're done. They're fucking done. They're already done, the way they used to do things. It, it's over. It's fucking over. They're just milking it now for everything they fucking can before they finally have to change the system and don't get away with it anymore. Fuck you, banks. Private companies, mate, you've got no fucking right. You've got no fucking right to acquire the power that you have done over the last few centuries. Get fucked. It's time for a decentralised economies to emerge. Not your centralised bullshit. 
with all these motherfucking rich elites at the top controlling. Get fucked. You're done. This is the last century you're in charge. Deal with it. Or we'll have a fucking war. Yeah? You want a war? Seem to profit quite a lot of war, don't you? Yeah, well, have a global civil war, you fucking cretins. And fucking die. Everyone else? Wishing health and happiness to you and yours. Hopefully, you're all striving for happiness more than riches. And you know the dance. Invest in yourself. The internet of value, your hobbies, your happiness. Live long and hoddle the lot. Get it staked, get it baked. Look after the pot till the pot looks after you. It's as easy as that, guys. Um, it's easier said than done for most people, but it is as simple as that. Just invest in yourself, the internet of value, and your happiness. Done. Yeah? We love crypto. We love people hedging against inflation and their banks. Fuck you, banks. And we love you. We love crypto. So take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.